Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I have a couple of easy, delicious, cute Easter desserts for you. And I am also part of a Easter hop that is hosted by Domestic Diva and I will have her channel linked down below. And here is the lovely group of ladies that is joining this hop with me and let's get started. First, I'm just making some Cadbury egg nests, bird nests, egg nests, you know what I'm saying. It's so easy. First, you're just going to melt a cup of chocolate chips and two thirds of a cup of either peanut butter or butterscotch, and then mix in a whole can of chow mein noodles. And then once that is all melded together, you're going to just plop them down on some parchment paper and try to create a little nest out of it. And you're going to put three of the little mini Cadbury eggs in the middle. I made these a few years back and I have just always thought that they were one of the cutest Easter desserts ever. And I, some of them I made a little bit big, you know, you can make them a little smaller, you know, whatever your preference is. You can just put two eggs, you know, just do it your way. And of course, this is a no bake recipe. So you're just gonna wait for that chocolate to harden up and they are all ready. My daughters love these, but my whole family loves those Cadbury eggs. They are so delicious. Now I'm gonna make some carrot cake cupcakes. You're going to first mix together your flour, your sugar, granulated sugar, brown sugar, baking soda, baking powder, and also some nutmeg and cinnamon. And I will have everything linked down below with all the exact measurements and all that good stuff. And you're just gonna kind of whisk that together. And then you're going to add in your egg, or I'm sorry, your canola oil and mix that around a little bit and then you're going to add in your eggs one at a time and of course you could use a stand mixer I just didn't really feel like pulling that bad boy out the thing is a is a hunk but <laughs> I just went old school with a hand mixer sometimes to me that is just easier but you're gonna put in your eggs one at a time stir as each one of them is in there and then you're gonna stir in your milk and vanilla extract and incorporate that really well. And then lastly, you're gonna throw in your shredded carrots and then you're going to fill a muffin tin with muffin liners, you know, whatever. And then you're gonna fill them up about two thirds of the way and bake them at 350 for 20 minutes. And then you're gonna let them completely cool before you put on the frosting, of course. And I'll show you the frosting I make in a second. You were just gonna throw in a bowl, a eight ounce brick of softened cream cheese, a stick of butter, called for unsalted. I didn't have any, so I just used salted. I probably could have left that salt out now that I think about it, but <laughs> then I threw in my salt and vanilla extract. I'm just kind of trying to loosen it a little bit. In total, you're gonna put in four cups of powdered sugar. I just kind of did one at a time, mix them up, and then it you know, kind of helped at first I thought maybe my cream cheese wasn't soft enough, but you see here it ended up being awesome. And then once my carrot cake, or you saw that taste test, I know you did, <laughs> me and my daughters and my niece decided together, of course, to decorate the cupcakes. I am by no means a professional at this, but they tasted delicious. And then I had ordered a little bag of Easter Oh my goodness sprinkles and they have like little ducks and 
something else in there. I think bunnies or carrots or something, but I thought they were really cute. And we just topped them with that. And this is going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed and got some inspiration for some quick Easter desserts. And I will see y'all in the next video.